everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video um, we're going to be doing my declutter series part two in this one um, so we're gonna go through some of these drawers on the right side of my vanity um, there will be an organize and clean with me video coming up very soon so make sure you keep a lookout for that and yeah let's just go ahead and get started All right, so the first drawer we're going to go into is this one right here. This one is my brush drawer, um, and I will say that I'm actually going to keep everything that's in here. <laughs> so, because I I love brushes so much, so if you don't know me and sponges and things, so I will be keeping all of the brushes in here. I know I have a lot of brushes, and these aren't including my blinged brushes, but, and I have another pack of brushes that I don't want to admit, but I do have a lot of brushes and I love brushes and sadly, I won't be getting rid of any. So, <laughs> um, it's not sadly, but anyways, um, I will be keeping all of this drawer. So the actual drawer that we're going to be starting with is my makeup palette drawer. This one's going to be kind of hard for me. I will go ahead and admit that I'm probably going to keep most of these. Um, but we will go ahead and get into this one. Okay, so going into this drawer, I have quite a few palettes. I know I'm obsessed with eyeshadow, um, especially eyeshadow palettes, so this one's going to be a little difficult for me, but I will go through each palette and talk about each one. So the first palette I have is the Morphe X Manny MUA Glam Palette. This one is really pretty. Um, here are all the shades right here. Um, uh, there are the two highlighter shades. So if I do use a highlighter, these are the highlighters I used. Um, so these, this is so pretty. I am for sure keeping it. Um, this was a very recent um, makeup collab, so I will be keeping this one. The next one is Take Me Back to Brazil. It's a BH Cosmetics palette. This one's also very pretty. Um, it's very colorful. I actually haven't even gone into this one and I don't want to look at it for too long because I'm actually planning on doing a video with this one soon and that's the reason I bought it. So, um, and I didn't have any really colorful palettes so I will be keeping this one. This palette is the Greek Goddess palette by Lunar Beauty, which is also Manny MUA, um, but that is, this one is his personal brand. Um, this one I got for Christmas, so I will for sure be keeping this palette. It is gorgeous. Um, in case you guys haven't seen it, those are all the colors. It's very, very pretty. I love this palette, so of course I'm going to be keeping this one. All right, the next palette is the Jaclyn Hell palette. Um, it, this is the first one of Morphe. So here it is. Um, I love this palette. I still dip into this palette almost every day. So I will for sure be keeping this one. I really do want to get the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette as well, but I just have this one right now and I use it all the time. So I'll for sure be keeping this one. This next one is also a Beach Cosmetics palette. It's called the Blush Neutrals 26 Color Eyeshadow and Blush palette. Um, let me show you the inside. So here is what the inside looks like. As you can see, the only shade I've really used is that bright pink one right in the middle, um, top row. So, um, and that was actually for like a theatrical makeup look, which is why I used it. But I really never go into this palette. I have so many others that are very similar to this. So I will actually be decluttering this palette. The next palette I have is my Warm 88 palette. All of these eyeshadows are very tiny and there are so many of them. Um, and they are all neutrals, but again, I have so many neutrals. Plus I actually have two of these palettes because whenever I ordered it, they accidentally sent me two. So I think I will go ahead and declutter this palette. The next one, I'm not sure who it's by. <laughs> There's no label or anything, but this is one of those that everyone had whenever they were um, younger or whenever they got into makeup where it's like so many shades and colors of eyeshadow um, that, you know, aren't the best pigment or anything like that but I do actually want to keep this one the reason being I like to do a lot of theatrical makeup looks um, and whenever I do I like to go into this palette because there are so many shades of each color and it really allows me to kind of pick and choose the color I want and although they're not pigmented these I don't have very many colored um, palettes so I will be keeping this one my next palette is Nudie Patootie by Laurely Los Angeles. I love this palette. This palette um, looks like this on the inside. If you don't know who Laurely is, she is also a YouTuber. Um, she has her own makeup brand 
and, as well as her own boutique called Nudie Patootie. So, um, and then our makeup brand is Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, but this is what Nudie Patootie looks like. I love this palette. I've dipped into this one a lot um, and I was so excited to get it. So I'll for sure be keeping this one. Next, I'll go ahead and go to Nudie number two, also by Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is her second um, palette that goes along with Nudie Patootie. Um, this one is also gorgeous and this is one that I got for Christmas this year. So of course I will for sure be keeping this one. Next, I have the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one was a big one for a while. This brown shade broke and it's a mess everywhere, if you can't tell. But I think I will still end up keeping it um, just because I really do like this palette. It's seriously a mess right now, but um, I think if I cleaned it up, it would be nice to keep it. So I will be keeping this one. The next one is a Naked Palette um, by Urban Decay. This is the Simoki one. Um, this is what it looks like. I got this one whenever, a really long time ago, um, whenever I first started doing makeup, and I really loved it. I dipped into it quite frequently. You can't even really tell, but the shades like really dipped into, so it was like this golden shade right here, um, and this one right here. But um, I will be keeping this one um, because, I don't know, I just, I really want it, so I'm going to keep it. The next one is the naked, another Naked palette by Urban Decay. This one is the Heat palette. So this one is like all of like the red tones. Um, and I haven't actually dipped into this one, but I got this one kind of recently um, from someone. So I will definitely be keeping this one. Next, I have the Flutterby palette by ColourPop. I dip into this one almost every day. I really like this palette. And this is actually the only palette I have from ColourPop. Um, and here are the shades right here. It is beautiful. Uh, again, I really love this one, so I'll for sure be keeping this one. I also have this um, palette right here. It's a Mary Kay palette. Um, I've dipped into it a few times. I don't dip into it very often, especially not the lip shades, but I'm not um, great at wearing um, any kind of lipstick or lip color. Um, I'm actually really bad about that. I normally just put on like um, a chapstick or something if I'm gonna put anything on my lips. So I don't really dip into that side, but I really do like this palette. It's really pretty, um, and I got it from my mom, so I will be keeping this one. Next, I have the Nudes and Toasted um, eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't remember where I found these, but they're really pretty, actually, um, and I really do want to dip into them, um, so I will be keeping both of these. Here is a Z palette um, by Mary Kay. This is where I just put the blush that we went into in the last video. So um, <laughs> this, I will be keeping this. I will also be keeping this Dominic Cosmetics um, palette right here. I just got this one recently, um, so I will for sure be keeping this because it's really pretty. Um, and I like how different some of the shades are in here. Um, like this color Chill is very different and I really appreciate that. <laughs> as uh, all of them really are, so um, I'm for sure going to be keeping this. Next, I have another Mary Kay um, palette, a Z palette, um, where you can, it's magnetic on this side, you put a lipstick in here and it actually holds it in, um, and then there's the two little brushes. Um, I dipped into this one all the time whenever I was first doing makeup, and um, I really do like it, so I will be keeping it. And then last but not least, I do have this Last Z palette. Um, this one has quite a few different shades in it. It has Mary Kay shades up here. Um, this one is a Dior um, one, and then there's some other shades in the bottom, but um, I am for sure going to be keeping this. All right, so I know I did a pretty bad job of getting rid of stuff in this one, um, but this it does look a lot better because I can actually fit all these palettes here now. So um, anyways, that is it for this drawer. All right, guys, so here's the next drawer going into. This is my eyeshadow singles drawer. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna be keeping a lot of this too. <laughs> so be ready for that. Um, I will just go ahead and start with, um, I will be keeping all of these. So um, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but just know that I'm keeping them. All right, right here I have this Mary Kay at Play. Um, it is a shadow and liner stick, so there is a shadow on one side, and then there is an eyeliner on the other. 
Um, I will be keeping this. They, I think they discontinued their Mary Kay at Playline, and I loved it, so that makes me really sad, but I will be keeping this. Next, I have this little, um, like, pencil um, eyeshadow crayon thing um, that is gray, um, and I think I will be keeping this. Next, I have another Mary Kay at Play item, um, and this is an eye crayon as well. It's in like a purple sparkly shade. Um, I really do like it, so I will be keeping this. This right here, I have never gone into, and it looks like it's very expired. Um, this is a liquid foil and glitter, um, so I will actually be decluttering this. Next, I have these LA Colors, um, like shimmering loose powders. Um, and these are gorgeous, so I will for sure be keeping these. If you guys haven't tried it, they're so pretty, and I love the way that they look, so, um, I'm for sure going to be keeping these. This is a Stila, um, you know, glitter thing. <laughs> um, it says a glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow. Um, I will be keeping this. This is a Just Minerals eye polish. Um, I've never used this. It's very interesting. You can use this in all sorts of ways. <laughs> So you can use it as like an eyeshadow, as nail polish, as all kinds of different things. Um, but I've never used it and I don't think I will, so I'll go ahead and declutter. All of these right here are all Dior, um, like little eyeshadow single palette things. So um, I will be keeping all of them. They're all very pretty. This is the one where I took these four out and put it in my Z palette. Um, and then I haven't with those two because it was really hard to get them out. So I will be keeping all of them though. All right, next I have this Becca eyeshadow. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like a gold shimmer. Um, it is, I can see, a little broken, um, but I never dip into it, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter. This is a Pacifica um, eyeshadow single. This one's also kind of like a bronzy, gold shimmery shade that I've obviously never dipped into, so I will also be decluttering this one. These eyeshadows are by e.l.f. There's um, like a light shimmery shade and then like a dark brown matte shade, um, but I've never dipped into these either, so these will also be decluttered. This is a Mary Kay um, cream eye color. This one's actually like a blue shimmer, um, but I used to be obsessed with cream eyeshadows. Um, I haven't used them in a long time, but I think I'm going to keep it. This next item um, hasn't even been opened, but it's like a really pretty... Um, like coppery shade, um, but I've never obviously used it, so I'll go ahead and declutter this. This right here is actually um, by Revlon. Um, it's the Revlon Color State Cream Eyeshadow in 760, um, and it is like a silver shimmery cream eyeshadow. It's really pretty, um, and it comes with its own like little brush right here, but um, anyways, I think I will be keeping this one. Next, I have this Mary Kay cream eyeshadow. This one is in like a dark brown color, um, and I used to use this one all the time, um, but I will be keeping it. This one right here is also a Mary Kay eye cream color, um, and this one is in like a green. Um, I normally don't use colors very often, but it's nice to have these whenever you're doing theatrical makeup looks on other people, so I will be keeping this one. Right now, I'm just going through all the Mary Kay cream eye colors. This one, um, I will be decluttering because it looks very dried up, um, and I also use this one all the time. It's a really pretty color, but um, I haven't used it in a long time, and it doesn't look great, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This DLS eyeshadow, I don't know where it came from, um, but it's like a really pretty neutral shade that I've never dipped into. Um, it's in the shade Teaser and I never use it, so I'll go ahead and declutter. Next, I have this Bare Minerals like mini palette. Um, this is like a really pretty, these are both really pretty shimmery shades. This one's a lighter, and then this one's kind of like a coppery color. Um, I don't normally dip into it, but I think I'm just gonna keep it. So if you watched my last video for my, my declutter part one, um, you know that I had these like little books of um, like blush and you know, bronzer, um, but I actually also have one with eyeshadow, and this is a really dark, like, red, um, purpley color, so more of like a maroon, so, um, but I won't be keeping this one because I never dive into it. I also have two of these, like, little book ones, um, they are the exact same, um, and they're both eyeshadow samplers, so, but I never dive into them, so I will be also decluttering these. Next, I have this little, 
um, palette thing <laughs> and it has three different shades in it um, but I never used it so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one Right here I have this palette um, and it has like four different shades in it. I've never used it. Um, it has like a light pink and purple and then like a copper color and a dark brown. Again, I have a lot of these copper colors in singles, but um, I never use it and I don't think I ever will. So I will go ahead and declutter this one. This is an Estee Lauder little palette that I got. I can't even tell you how long ago. It was so, so long, and I'm telling you whenever I first, first started doing makeup, like, forever ago, <laughs> um, and, you know, I think I'm just going to keep this one as kind of a memory, um, so yeah, I'll be keeping this one. This right here is an um, highlighter palette by um, Lunar Beauty, and here is this coppery shade. Um, this one is something I did get for Christmas, so I will for sure be keeping this one. Um, but yeah, I wanted to still show you guys, um, love Lunar Beauty, so yeah, be keeping this one for sure. Next I have this Sweet and Shimmer, like a little tiny palette. Um, it actually opens up into even more shadows. Um, if I can pull it, there we go. So, uh, this is what it looks like. There's a bunch of little shadows in there, um, but obviously I never use it. I have bigger eyeshadow palettes in those colors already, so I will go ahead and declutter this one. Right here I have um, an eyeshadow palette by Lancome. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. I have never used this one. It's really pretty though, um, so I will be decluttering it. Alright, I also have this palette right here. Um, it has a few little shades in here, but obviously, again, I don't go into it, so I will also declutter this one. I also have this palette. Um, this one is also pretty little, um, but it has this really pretty black shimmery shade that has like some blue in it. Um, I actually really, really love that, so I think I'm actually going to keep this one. And then this one, I have um, quite a few different shimmer shades in here, but they're all ones that I already have somewhere in another palette, so I'll probably go ahead and also declutter this one. I do have three of these Mary Kay at Play like little palettes, um, which again, they, I think they discontinued it, so I will for sure be keeping these. They're really pretty and I really enjoy them. I will also be keeping all of these Wet n Wild glitter palettes um, because I really like to use these whenever I do theatrical makeup, So, and that's what I actually bought them for, so I will be keeping these. Alright, next I have, this is the last thing in this drawer actually, <laughs> um, and I have all of these LA Color palettes, um, but I never go into any of them, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter all of them. All right, so that is it for this drawer. Um, this one I emptied out quite a bit more than I expected, so I may be able to make more of this like palettes and then having singles kind of by themselves on the side. Maybe I'll use them a little more if they're with palettes, but um, yeah, I am finished with this drawer. All right, next we're gonna go into this drawer. This one holds a lot of different things. So it holds mascaras, it holds eyeliners and lip liners. Um, this is a bunch of lip products, and then these are all like chapsticks. Um, so this is going to be a lot to go through, um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the ones that I know I'm going to keep. So this is the Lash Intensity Mascara by Mary Kay. I use this one almost every day, so I will be for sure keeping this one. This is the CoverGirl Lash Exact Mascara in brown. Um, I use this one every day for my lower lashes, so I will be keeping this one. This is the Buxom Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara and the bristles on this brush. It's so great. So um, this one I also use almost every day and I will be keeping this one. I will be keeping my eyelash curler. I do have a couple random pairs of lashes that I'll just go ahead and keep. All right, next I have these four black Lancome um, actual mascaras. There's way too many for me. I do not need four of them and I don't use them very often. So I may keep one and then declutter the other three. Next I have this Revlon Lash Glue. Um, I will be keeping this. This right here is a Mary Kay Lash Primer. I will also be keeping this. I will also be keeping this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I will go ahead and declutter this Clinique mascara um, in black. Um, the reason I'm getting rid of this one is because I remember buying this whenever I first started doing makeup and I do not need this because I know it's beyond expired, so I'll be decluttering this one. 
I will also be decluttering this color concept mascara. I'm also going to go ahead and declutter this mascara. This is a very strange mascara because it's in like a tube. Um, and it says Maxi Lash, so volume intense, volume black mascara. Anyways, <laughs> um, I will be decluttering this one. I will go ahead and keep this Well People Expressionist Mascara uh, because I really like the brush on it, so I want to try it out. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this Sephora mascara. I think I'm going to go ahead and also declutter this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara. I think I'm going to keep this Makeup Forever mascara because let me just show you the wand on it. I don't know if you can really see that, but it is the craziest wand and I just have to keep it just for that. I'm going to go ahead and keep this Ultimate Volume Nano Mascara. Um, this one, I think I'm going to keep it because of the brush. It's tiny and I think it'll work really well for my lower lashes. Next, I have two of the mini lash intensity mascaras. Obviously, I have the big one. So I'm going to try to go through, and I use that one every day. So I'm going to try to go through these first. Um, I didn't even realize I had them. So I'm going to try to go through these first now that I know I have them. Um, so I will be keeping them. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this Estee Lauder More Than Mascara. Um, I also got this one whenever I was first starting out with, you know, doing my own makeup. So um, I will go ahead and declutter this one. This is another Sephora ma mascara, the Outrageous Curl. Um, and this one also has a tiny brush that I think will be really great for my lower lashes. So I want to try it out and keep this one. This one is for sure dried up and extremely expired, so I will be getting rid of this one. All right, you guys, so that is it for mascara, which I'm very proud of. So much better. I need to go through a bunch of these, though, too. Like, this is insane how much mascara I have, but um, it looks a lot better because it was piled up a lot higher than that. Um, next, I guess I'm going to go into these lippies. Okay, I know I have quite a few of these Mary Kay True Dimensions lipsticks. I absolutely love these. I have a bunch of them, um, so I, I know I have more than two. Um, so whenever I come across them, I'll go ahead and keep all of them. I also have quite a few of these like red lipsticks um, that I get at like drugstores, and um, I will be keeping all of these because these are kind of my go-to red lipsticks. Here are a few more of those lipsticks that I will be keeping. All right, next I have this lipstick. I will be keeping this one because if I like to use like a nude, this is kind of my go-to. Um, I'm not sure who it's by. It has this like little flower symbol on the top, um, but I will be keeping this one. I will also be keeping this L'Oreal ma mascara. I meant lipstick. This, this one's also a nude that I like to sometimes use. So yes, I will also be keeping this one. This was my first Lunar Beauty item, um, which again is Manny Amelie's brand, um, and this is a lip gloss, and I will for sure be keeping this. This one's so pretty and extremely glossy if you guys like a gloss, so I will definitely be keeping this one. Next, I have this Trust Fund Beauty That Glow Though lipstick. Um, I don't think I'm going to be keeping this one. I have a few of these like e.l.f. lippies but I've never used them and I don't think I ever will, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these. Next, I have this Mary Kay at Play lipstick that's like purple and pink, and I really love this one, so I will be keeping it. Next, I have this Makeup Forever lipstick. Um, this is like an extremely dark red, um, but I have the other red lipsticks that I normally are my go-to if I decide to wear a red one, so I will be decluttering this one. Next, I have another one of these. Um, one of them's a little pinker than the other. I think this is the pinker one, um, but I really do like these lipsticks, so I will be keeping this one as well. Next, I have another Makeup Forever lipstick. This one's kind of like a pinky nude color. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one. Next, I have this Mary Kay Lip Suede. This one is in a really dark purple. I don't have anything like it. Um, and I feel like I got this pretty recently, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I also have this Mary Kay Lip Suede um, that's more of like a pink color, um, and I will also be keeping this one. Next, I have this NYX Liquid Suede, um, and this one's in a very red color. <laughs> um, I think I want to um, declutter this one. 
Okay, I also have this Mary Kay Lacquered Lip Shine. Um, this one is a red shine, like gloss, um, that I like to put on top of my reds if I want it to be glossy, so I will be keeping this one. Next, I have this Buxom um, lippy that's very purple, um, but I have that Lip Suede by Mary Kay, so I think I'll go ahead and declutter this one. Next, I have this Melted Matte by Too Faced. Um, this is a really pretty... Um, gloss and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this one. I also have this BA Bombshell. I'm not sure who it's by um, but this one is a really pretty shade. Um, I really like my like pinky nudes if you can't tell um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Okay next I have this little lip here. Um, this is actually really pink. Um, it's kind of like a darker pink but it's still very pink so I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This is a little tiny Sephora um, cream lip stain, but it's really, really pretty. And I think I want to keep this one because it's a very pretty nude. Next, I have this Sephora lip shade. Um, this one is very dark, um, and I will be decluttering this one. Next, I have another one of these by Tati, and this one is really dark, um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and also declutter this one. Next, I have this matte liquid lipstick um, that I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep because I don't have many liquid lipsticks. This is very red, um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Next, I have all three of these EOS, um, like little lip, like chapstick things. So um, I, these are both really old um, whenever they were, you know, a big thing. Um, and then I got this one more recently, so I think I'm going to keep this one and then declutter these. I also have this one by Soft Lips, and I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Alright, I still have a lot of lipstick here, but I think I did really well because there's, like, nothing really back here except for these two, um, and it was packed full, so I'm pretty proud of that. So next we're going to go into this. The first thing is this Buxom Gloss. This is a very dark like purpley shade that I never wear, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Next I have a ton of these little totally kissable lip glosses. I have a ton of different shades that someone gave me recently, so I'm going to be keeping all of these. I also have these Buxom glosses that I don't ever use, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. I do have this Mary Kay at Play Jelly Lip Gloss I'm going to go ahead and keep. I also have this Mary Kay Nourish Shine Plus lip gloss that I am going to keep. I used to wear this all the time whenever I was in band in high school because our colors were black and gold, so I am going to keep this one. This one is really dark, um, but I actually really love this one because it comes with a mirror um, right here, and whenever you open it, it actually has a light, so that way you can see whenever you're putting it on, um, which I really appreciate. It's a really cool package, um, so I am going to be keeping this one. Next, I have these Avon lip glosses. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter these since I've had them for quite a while. Next, I have this LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss. It is a very pretty color, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and keep this one. I also have this Sephora Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel um, that I think I'm going to keep because it's also a really pretty nude color, and I've used it quite a few times, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Next, I have this um, Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine, um, which I have used a couple times. It's a really cool color, but it's also extremely shiny and really pretty, so I think I'm going to go ahead and also keep this one. Alright, so I already went through all of these. Um, I only have these three in here because the rest I put in here and it's a mess right now. But again, there will be an organization um, video coming soon, so make sure you watch out for that one. But next, I have this little bin right here. Um, a bunch of like little chapsticks, but I will be keeping all of them, so I'm actually going to go through this one next. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I'm probably going to keep most of them, so be ready for that. Um, these three, I think, are all um, lip pencils, so um, like lip liners, so I will be keeping those. This is an e.l.f. eyeliner, um, but I never use it, so I'm going to be going ahead and decluttering this one. I have this Buxom Lash Liner, um, and it's in a really pretty like blue color. Um, I thought about keeping it, but I think it's completely dried out, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I also have this like little lip liner right here. This is also by Buxom, um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I also have this Lipstick Queen in the shade Nude. It's also a lip liner, obviously, um, and I will be keeping that one. 
All right, I do have quite a few different colored ones that are kind of crazy colors that I will be keeping because these are, again, for theatrical makeup. Next, I have this Mary Kay Liquid Eyeliner Pen. If I ever do um, eyeliner, I normally use this one, so I will be keeping it. I also have two of these um, Mega Effects by Avon. Um, I don't need two of them, so I will just be keeping one and decluttering the other. I do have this ColourPop Eyeliner um, that is really nice, um, and I will be keeping it. Next, I have this Color Mates Liquid Eyeliner um, that has a mirror on the back, but I never use it, so I will be decluttering this one. Actually, I take that back. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because I don't have very many actual liquid ones. I also have this Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner that I will also be keeping. I have this Color Concept Eyeliner that is struggling, and I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Next, I have this eyeliner um, that I think I will be keeping. I have this IT Cosmetics waterproof one that um, is broken, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And then last but not least, I have this one that I will be also keeping. All right, so I definitely didn't do great on this one over here, but um, I normally use this for theatrical makeup, and that's why I have a lot of different colors and shades and different types because different types are good for different things. Um, and honestly, I didn't do that great on these, but that's okay. Um, I'm pretty, still pretty happy with it. I got rid of quite a few different things. So we are done with this drawer and we are moving on to the next. Actually, the rest of these drawers are not makeup. So this is actually our last drawer for today, um, which means I'm done with this video. Um, so if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, and comment down below. Um, what your favorite piece of makeup is. And um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out my clean with me and organize with me videos that will be coming very shortly. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.